Would you please say hello to Colette Man here. <laughs> You, uh, this is not your formal gear, but you've worn flat shoes. I decided it? I'd go opposite to everyone else. Yes. Everyone else has gone formal. I thought I'd go really cash, you know? Well, I think it looks great. You don't want to wear heels because you, you don't want that long, slim, no. beautiful look. No, right? nothing like that. I want to look little and dumpy on your last night. Right, okay. Night. Well, <laughs> just, I love you just the way you are. Oh, thank you. Now, look, I have to tell you, because would you believe on what our very last What are those two lumps on the side of your head there? I don't know. They're covering up something ugly underneath. Now, you look You look like a geriatric Mickey Mouse Club member. Oh, thanks very much. I like like you too. I love you. Thank you very much. Now look, would you believe that on our very last night together they've only given me a small amount of time? You wouldn't believe it, would you? No, you're but I'm kidding. going to have to talk very fast. Um, no, you don't. Take all the time you want. What's he gonna do? Fire you? Exactly. You got it. You would he, he can't make me fired, I'm quitting. No, no, no forget no. it. Um that would have worked. Now, listen, what I want to talk to you about is the fact that I came out here, or well, actually I spent two days looking for a very special birthday present and a goodbye present for you at the same time. Mm. And I started off, well, the best thing is I did it all on film, so I thought you'd have a look at it first, you see. And I started off at the shops first. Could we see the shops first? Sure. Because I thought, I'll start at the shops. Nice. Yes, I started, see, I had a determined look on my face <laughs> and I was off and away, you see. Right. And I went in. I looked for shoes because you were getting the boot, you know. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> anyway, so um, then I... Oh, it was very hard in the shops. Now, I didn't think that'd suit you. Um, <laughs> so then I continued on. I'd started to get a bit panicky at this point, you know, because I wandered all through these places. I went I went to computer places. I went to Tony Barlow's, but he, he dresses Tony Barber. He wasn't interested. And um, <laughs> I went to Sale and Petra Hair Care, but your hair's lovely. And I was really panic struck. And and found nothing at Tandy Electronics. But the run up the stairs did me a world of good, let me tell you. Uh, world in here. Look at this gentleman. He, he loves it. He, oh, oh, he said, couldn't bear it. Couldn't find anything. And then just when things were getting really bad, I found this stuffed kangaroo. And it gave me a really good idea. I thought, something to remind you of Australia, you see. Right. So out I went to the zoo. But I had trouble wrapping it up. <laughs> you see what I mean? Then I thought I'd try a tram. But I had trouble wrapping that one up too. Because, do you know what? I wouldn't have had so much trouble wrapping it up. It was just that it wouldn't stand still. Right, okay. And it also, as well as that, if anybody remembers Tuesday, this was just before the rain. And, of course, it rained and all my paper got wet. Look, uh, and then I thought you re I remembered you like the Melbourne football team. Right. So, I was lurking behind a tree. Look. Uh -huh. uh, and I, I nearly caught them, too. In actual fact... I decided that everything that I was going for was running away from me. I'd go for something static. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I must admit, though, I almost caught the Melbourne football team. No wonder they didn't win too many games last year. <laughs> now, I decided I was going very well with this. I would have needed just a little bit more paper, but I felt that it was static and it was probably... Perhaps oh. a, little, a little big for what I wanted. A lot so, of overweight on a plane. Yeah, I, I decided I'd go for something a little more accessible. Now, this is the beautiful Yarra. And I was very busy getting you something from the Yarra. Right. And um, I, it was very hard because it was very cold by this stage. But I finally got it and I got some Yarra water in a Vegemite jar for you. Right. Now, I brought it in here and it's wrapped. So that's... You're not very thrilled, are you? Well, I, I um, suppose it's, it's all right. It's, Yarra water? Yeah, well, uh, you don't have to open it. Well, Should well, I actually... No, no, no. no. That, that is inside there. Do you want to open it? It is yeah. Vegemite uh, water in a Yarra jar? No. It's, I'm, I'm so excited. Yarra water um, in a Vegemite jar? That's right, Can I open yes. it now? Uh, no, you can take it back to America. You, do, they, 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 you well, believe how me, do don't I you? better not declare it. Go through customs. I'll think it's a specimen or something. Well, actually, I, have a look. I was surprised... <laughs> surprised at how clean it was. It's got a bit of, you know, gunk in it. Right. You know, like a bit of flotsam and jetsam. But, um, you know, remember them, they're a good I act. I, I <laughs> are you kidding? I live with one of them. <laughs> but, no, truly, truly, all jokes aside, that's what people say. Right. This is what I really got for you as a, as a birthday present and right. a going away present. And it's friends who, um, you can see it now. <laughs> I'd like... Happy birthday to you, 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Don. Happy birthday to you. Good luck in America and remember... Those kids, if you could have seen the letters that those kids sent me, they wrote me letters, it's wonderful. Those kids have never heard a word I've ever uttered or a note I've ever sung, and they just love me. They're terrific. I love They're them. wonderful. Yeah. I'm supposed to make us all happy now. I'm doing a real good job at it, aren't You're I? You're not this supposed to get emotional. You see, when you, when, if, if anybody else is going to get emotional, I go very easily. I know you I can't very stand very this anymore. I don't want, look at this. They're doing this over here, too. What? <laughs> Can you imagine what's going to happen when Thornbirds is over? They would have been crying their guts out. For three hours, they'll cry their guts out. They'll tune into us to the ending, and they'll be going, what are you doing on the television? I don't want to watch it anymore. Now, listen, I'm going to make us all laugh here now. Oh, yeah.